In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to edit software simulations in Articulate Storyline. So you've recorded a video and then you've inserted it as a software simulation. Everything looks great, but you start to notice that there's some artifacts or things that you need to edit on your screens. You'll notice that during the recording, uh, when you click on something, uh, you get this little artifact. So in this case, if I look at these tabs, they're all flat, but this tab already indicates to me that I need to click on it. So when I click on it, now you'll notice over here I have another artifact because if I didn't know what I was supposed to click, my eye is immediately drawn to this because this artifact is part of the clicking process in the actual software. So you'll see again, here's another little artifact. Here's another one. I click on Animation Pane. Then I click on this button. Now this video, you'll notice it should play all the way to the top. But the reason it doesn't play to the top is because during the software simulation, the software's just tracking my clicks. So it knows I clicked on the button, but it doesn't really know what I'm expecting after I click. It's just going to go to the next screen. In this case, it plays the video, but it doesn't really know should it play the video for one second should it play the video for 20 seconds because it's only recording my actions. It doesn't know how long the video should be on there. So those are things that you'll need to edit and that's pretty common when you do software simulations. So you've got artifacts like this. Maybe you need to edit the timing of the video. So let me show you how easy that is to do in Storyline. Let's look at one of these slides here that has the big yellow box. So here's my hotspot. When I move it out of the way, I can see I've got this big yellow box, right? So I want to get rid of that. Now I don't have to do a screen grab or recapture this. All I need to do is right click. I can go to Action Fine Tuning. And we're always going to pull those screenshots from the video. So you'll notice here it's showing me where that particular clip comes from. All I need to do is find a frame where this yellow box isn't there. So I can click frame by frame. So you can see I've got previous next frame options. Or what I can do is I can just drag it and then I'll just drag it. So you can see there's a point right here where it's not available. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to update the video and in a second we'll have our new screenshot. And so now we can see that there's no artifact and I'm just going to put this hotspot back in its original place. Now let's go to that place where we had the video. So for example, this one right here, when we play this, the video should play. So see it says play the recording. So let's go ahead and preview this slide. And the video doesn't play all the way. So we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to right click action fine tune and then I can see my video so you can see it's only playing part of the video so we're just going to take this and drag it so I can see the start and stop point of the video and that right there is good enough for me. We'll hit OK and now it's changed. Let's go ahead and preview the video. If I click on the play button now you can see the entire video plays. So that's how simple it is to edit the screencast software simulations. Let me show you one last thing. So you're in your slide, you've got your video, and you notice that there's some private information. Perhaps you're doing some training, there's social security numbers or account numbers, and those things need to be redacted. Uh, you could go to insert and insert a shape and put it on top of that, but sometimes it's easier just to output a screen grab and then modify it in Photoshop or some other application and then reinsert that screen grab on your slide. So to do that, just right click, choose Action Fine Tuning, and that opens up your fine tuning window and you have access to your video. So you can right click and you can export a video or you can export just the clip. So this would be the whole video and this would be just this clip that we have here or you can e export your frames or individual screen grabs and then you can take those and modify them and then what you would do is just insert those back on your slide and cover up the video or wherever you need to make your changes. And so that's basically it when you're doing your editing with the software simulations. It's just a matter of you practicing uh, your software simulation skills and then applying those to your next e-learning course.